And uh, we're starting today's program with some very sad news. As you may have heard on the news or read in the papers, sadly, George the Tortoise has died. Yes, it wasn't completely unexpected, as George had been ill for a few days before he died. The vet told us that he had died simply from old age, but nevertheless, it was still a shock. Yep. Now, we don't know exactly how old George the tortoise was, but experts say that he was around eight years old, which is a good age for a tortoise in captivity. Absolutely. Now, George was on the programme longer than any of us, 22 years in all, and he's been a friend to over 20 presenters and taken part in hundreds of Blue Peter programmes. Yes, let's have a look back at some of his finest moments, starting with his debut on the programme way back in May 1982, when he was introduced to the then presenters Simon Groom and Peter Duncan. When our friend Edith Menezes, who looks after Jack and Jill, suggested that we had her tortoise on the programme, we thought that was a great idea and we jumped at the chance. Yes, here he is. He, Edith says he's about uh, eight years old. He's a bit heftier than Maggie and Jim, but he's, uh, he's very friendly with Jack and Jill, though not quite so fast. George, how can you tell if this he is a he? Look, before I tell you that, I want to say one very important thing. Yes. There are now restrictions on tortoises being brought into the country, which is a jolly good thing, but there are many, many tortoises here, and it's our duty to do mm. them just as well as we possibly can. When it came to naming George, Blue Peter viewers had lots of ideas, and if you listen carefully, you'll hear one that you might recognise. <laughs> Thank you very much for all the, the cards that you said, uh, uh, suggesting uh, names. A uh, suggestion here for Arthur, which I quite like that. Another one for Flash Gordon. <laughs> I thought that was oh. really good. Oh, ah, very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> And his one was very clever, an anagram of Blue Peter called Tebel Peru. But a bit of a mouthful for Rubble a tortoise. Treat. Now, one of the most popular names was Shelley, yeah, and that was closely followed by Banger. But if you were really hawk-eared, you'll have heard Pete mention the name yes, just I now. Did, didn't I? <laughs> and that was the one that was chosen. It was George, because like Sarah Wilden, we thought that George suited him very much. Yes, and of course, that's after George Cansdale. Hello, Hello, George. Hello. Hello. Too many Georges about. <laughs> nice to see you. From his early days on the programme, George's life has been eventful. Ratting here, trying the tortoise then. I've just stood on George. I've just stood on the tortoise. I've just stood on the tortoise. Then in 1988, George gave us all a scare when he went missing. We have some extraordinary news about our other missing star. And it is brilliant news because George, George is back. He has returned to us. Welcome back, George. <laughs> Now you might remember that we told you on Monday how George had disappeared after a break-in at his keeper's home. Well, on Tuesday he was found about half a mile away in a ditch near some woods. And here's the super sleuth who found him. His name's Todd and he's a Jack Russell Terrier who belongs to Mrs. Meir Arthbuthnot. They helped search for George when he went missing nearly a month ago and Mrs. Arthbuthnot says Todd loves sniffing out hedgehogs. And when he dived down into the ditch she thought he'd found one of those. She had a look and discovered George, none the worst for his month in the country. Well, who knows, he probably enjoyed it, didn't you, George? <laughs> Over the years, we've given you the chance to make your own George. How about a toy, 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 to keep you company? What do you think, George? Mm, he doesn't really like that very much, does he? And they're not just toys, because each one opens up to reveal a special compartment. George is no exception, because all you're going to need to make him is an old sock, an old glove, and some split peas. How easy could that be? There was even an edible version. That is a nearly finished chocolate tortoise. Girls, what does George think? George thinks it's a great likeness. Like George. As Britain's what number one reptile, George met lots insects, of other tortoises so of all kinds of kinds of sizes. And presumably, can George's age was a continuing puzzle. Edith says he's about uh, eight years old. George is actually about 50. Then in 2002, we were surprised by the news that George was much older than we thought. Now, we've heard from the tortoise experts of the Sussex Chelonian Society, and they've actually identified George as being a testudo Greca <gasps> Greca. They believe that George could be over 80 years old. Whoa! George even turned actor when he played King Ludwig of Bavaria's favourite pet. And even Ludwig's pet tortoise was taken away from him because it was thought he was getting too fond of it. But in the studio, you never quite knew what George was going to do next. George has beaten us to it because he's just weaned <laughs> all, all over him. me. It's a lovely initiation. Disgusting. George was very happy living at home with Carrie and Oki, and he kept himself very active in the garden.
Lately, he's also been very happy with his new friend, Shelley. And over the years, George has been lovingly placed in and taken out of hibernation by no less than 20 Blue Peter presenters. Put you in the night, George. Sleep tight. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, we're going to miss him, aren't we? Yeah. We really will. Now then, um, if you've had a pet that's died, you'll know exactly how we feel. But it is something that all pet owners have to cope with at some time in the animal's life because obviously the animal doesn't have as much a uh, longer lifespan as a human. Um, but you can take comfort from the fact that you've loved it, it's had a great life and you've got loads, like we have, of George. Have happy memories. Yeah, he did have a good life. Now we've decided to bury George here in his favourite place, the Blue Peter Garden, and we have found a lovely spot for him. Yes, we found a very special place for George. It's in fact right here next to the plaque which remembers Percy Thrower, the famous Blue Peter Gardener. Yep. And they did in fact work together for six years, so it's very fitting. Now George is in this casket here. I'm just going to lower it gently into the ground. And we've got this plaque just here to commemorate George. George the tallest, 1982 to 2004. A long and very happy life. We're going to miss him. Now, if you would like your very own memento of George, then if you send us a stamped addressed envelope, we'll send you one of George's postcards. Alternatively, you could log on and download the George wallpaper for your computer. And, of course, our other link with George is Shelley, who we hope will be on the programme for many years to come. Now to news of an event that's happening on Saturday. Yep, it's this year's Eurovision Song Contest and it got us thinking. So we paid our very own tribute to some of the camp and crazy acts from years gone by. And we start back in 1976 when Brotherhood of Man romped to victory with Save Your Kisses For Me. Though it hurts to go away, it's impossible to stay. But there's one thing I must say before I go. I love you, all the while. With your cute little way, will you promise that you'll say your kisses for me? In 1967, Sandy Shaw claimed the Eurovision crown with Puppet on a String. I wonder if one day that you say that you care If you say you love me madly, I'll gladly be there Like a puppet on a string Love is just like a merry-go-round With all the In 1968, national treasure Cliff Richard came second with Congratulations. Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Who would believe that I could be happy I used to think that happiness hadn't been invented But that was in the bad old days before I met you When I left 
1996 and Gina G comes a gallant eighth with Ooh Ah Just A Little Bit. Bucks Fizz were the decisive winners with Making Your Mind Up. You gotta speed it up, and then you gotta slow it down. Cause if you believe that I love can hit the top, you gotta play around. Till you find that there comes a time for making your mind up. Lovely stuff, some beautiful wigs there. And we should just say a uh, big good luck to the UK's entrance on Saturday, James Fox. Please try and beat our nil point of last year. I'm sure you will. Now, 100 years ago tomorrow, one of the world's most important artists was born. He created some of the world's most weird and wonderful works of art. Salvador.